In our present video, we will be discussing about caching. In our previous video, we have discussed memory management, virtual memory, degree of multiprogramming. And from the degree of multiprogramming, we have just mentioned that if the degree of multiprogramming is more and more, it will lead system to enter to the caching state. So in present video, we will be discussing about caching. Before we go for definition of thrashing, uh, we should first see how thrashing happens. You can see here, this is our virtual memory, this is main memory and this is CPU. So, uh, process from process P0, P0, two pages are brought, P1 and P2. We can easily see from the color that uh, process P0 is, uh, here it is yellow color in virtual memory. So, P1 and P2 are not process, it, are, it is the pages, page P1 and page P2, which belongs to process P0. So, two pages of process P0 is present here. Similarly, two pages of process P1 and two pages of process P2 and so on are present in the main memory to increase the degree of multiprogramming. Because we know that if the degree of multiprogramming increases, CPU utilization increases. And our main motto is to keep CPU busy as maximum as possible. So, uh, we can see here that uh, if the degree of multiprogramming increases, means more and more processes are brought to main memory, what is the drawback system faces? The drawback is, see, for every process, only few number of pages are available. So, if CPU is referring for one more page of that particular process, like P3 of process P0, what will happen? There is not much memory available in the, uh, free memory is available in the main memory. So, it will lead to a page fault. P3 is needed in main memory but not present. So, it causes a page fault as well as a page replacement. So, one among P1 and P2 of process P0 should be replaced. Okay, so page fault will start similarly for this, this process, process P1 also, page fault will start very soon and obviously page replacement is also required because number of available frames are very less in main memory. Similarly, it will happen for all the processes. So, if we increase the degree of multiprogramming to keep CQ busy as maximum as possible, the drawback is many number of page fault and because of page fault page replacement also will happen because number of free frames available in main memory is very less so we can see here uh, the same thing is written we have uh, just summarized here if the process does not have enough free frames in memory for execution then page fault will start and which will lead to low cpu utilization why low cpu utilization because after executing two pages of a particular process, CPU will not get the page for execution. Whereas uh, for that, page replacement will start similarly. After executing two pages of one process, CPU will not get third page to bring, third page to execute. It has to be brought from mem mem virtual memory. And one more important thing is see virtual memory access is a long time taking process. Okay, it is a disk access, so it takes a long time for system to swap a page from main memory to virtual memory, like keeping page back from main memory to virtual memory and bringing a page from virtual memory to main memory. So, by the time CPU finishes the four processes, two pages, uh, system may not be able to bring one more page to main memory from virtual memory. So, there will be a time where CPU utilization will be very low. CPU will be done with the pages, whereas page replacement will not happen. If it happens also, it is a very slow process because disk accessing is a slow process. So, operating system will think that seeing the low CPU utilization, that it needs to increase degree of multiprogramming. 
so operating system will start bringing one by one process referred by cpu to main memory so what operating system will think no 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 cpu utilization is very poor so we need to bring more and more processes here so again see whatever we are assuming that one frame is free so that also will be occupied by one page for one process see we can imagine as uh, operating system wants to increase the cpu utilization so what it will do it will bring some more page from virtual memory to main memory see we can see the color page one of process three is brought because uh, operating system wants to increase the cpu uh, um, in, uh, utilization so it is again bringing pages to main memory whereas already so many page fault has occurred and so many replacement has is already ongoing so what will happen it will end up with a very poor cpu utilization so it will lead to uh, so it will lead to almost cpu utilization zero almost zero or zero so system will spend time only for page in and page out and cpu will become completely idle let us uh, see the situation and define the thrashing a process is busy swapping page in and page out not only one process all the processes present in the main memory will be busy in swapping page in and page out so thrashing can be defined as a situation where system spends more time in paging than the time spent for execution so there will not be uh, any execution happening almost there will be only the activity page in and page out where system has to spend more time so thrashing is a situation where system spent more time for paging than executing and paging is nothing but page in and page out so what we can see is see here this is a condition where uh, this is a graph we can draw y axis is degree of multi programming and x axis is cpu utilization see up to this point degree of multi programming is increased graph is going like that so degree of multi programming is increasing along with that cpu utilization also is increasing so this is the highest point this may be the highest this may be the highest point where the degree of multi programming is increased because of that cpu utilization is also increased but from this point degree of multi programming is increased but cpu utilization is falling down so at that point of time system will start thrashing so thrashing is a point where you if you increase system increases even number of processes in main memory that is degree of multi programming is increased but still cpu utilization will not increase it will just start dropping from this point and from the point of thrashing and it will become zero so that is all about thrashing so as a solution to thrashing we can say the effect of thrashing can be reduced by local page replacement see local page replacement if you want to know we can uh, tell here local page replacement means suppose for process p0 only two frames are allotted okay now when one frame will be brought let us first erase this to understand uh, it properly Uh, we will just erase this. We can assume that here we have uh, one free frame available. Okay, so P1 and P2 are from process P0. So if process for process P0, one more page has to be brought. That can be kept here also because there is a free frame available. Okay, so this is called global replacement. Global replacement means process can Use uh, not only allotted frames. Let's say only two frames are allotted for process P0. According to local replacement, process any pages are required means this among these two any one should be replaced. But if it is global replacement, then the frame allotted for P1 also can be used. Frame allotted for P2 also can be used, or free frame also can be used. So what we are telling is. Uh, for to avoid paging to avoid thrashing we need to go for local replacement if it is local replacement what will happen if any frame is needed for process p0 at least free frame will not be occupied the frame needed will be occupying 
among these two so phage replacement will be used okay but if it is global means this free frame also can be occupied by process zero which will lead the system more faster to the thrashing state so now we can tell the second uh, solution by increasing the size of main memory but which is not uh, very much suggestible because if we increase the size of main memory searching time of a process in main memory will be very slow like uh, previous uh, your algorithm previous uh, video also we have discussed suppose i want to search you from whole college i need more time whereas if i want to search you from sixth a section i need less time obviously so if the search area is more the thing should be searched uh, will take more time if the searching area is less the thing should be searched will take less time so similarly thrashing for avoiding thrashing main memory size can be increased because degree of multi programming can be increased more and more thrashing may not happen cpu utilization may increase but searching time in memory will be very slow so that is the one reason but according to the uh, solution to the thrashing as a point we can discuss by increasing the size of main memory and third one is thrashing can be decreased by controlling the short term scheduler to bring less processes to main memory short term scheduler is the scheduler which brings processes from virtual memory to main memory when the process is in ready state so if we can control the speed of scheduler we can just make it understand like by adding some lines in the algorithm of short term scheduler to bring less number of pages to main memory it will at least reduce the uh, possibility of thrashing if less number of uh, processes are present in the main memory possibility of thrashing will be obviously reduced so uh, that are the three solutions uh, we can avoid by which we can avoid thrashing if you like the video you can please subscribe and thanks for watching